This was the final moment when Mac Hopkins was witnessed on Eric's channel. However, from here on, he was never seen on the channel again. In the next video, when Eric uploaded 100 dates in 24 hours, Eric was proudly standing with Tyler and Samuel, but Mac was nowhere to be found. How is it possible? Mac was the one who helped Eric become one of the top YouTubers on the planet. In fact, with his amazing editing skills, he supported Eric when he could not even afford to hire a video editor, and transformed his channel from videos like this. Coming to let you know that we are having some problems with our editing system. We will hopefully be back up shortly. Thanks. To the moment Eric achieved the diamond YouTube play button. So for the past 7 months, why could Mac not be seen on Eric's channel? And is Eric really distancing himself from his friend? If you go through Eric's channel, 3 years ago he uploaded this video called My Last Video. In this clip, Eric explained how depressed he was feeling for not being able to run his channel successfully. Single thing, I just want to lay in bed all day long and have like close to zero motivation. With only 1500 subscribers, Eric was literally shaking about his future on YouTube. He was desperate to find someone who could get him out of this mud. And then enters Mac Hopkins. Eric realized that without a professional video editor, it is tough to grow successfully on YouTube. Fortunately, Mac decided to give everything he had for Eric. From selecting powerful topics to editing to even participating in every challenge for the video. Mac was the perfect companion that Eric could not afford to lose. However, there was one big issue. Behind Eric finally being able to skyrocket his channel, Mac was also given the opportunity to see how a channel grows from zero to a million subscribers, what kind of idea they need to select that guarantees more than a million views, and how much does it really cost to make a viral YouTube video. Not to forget, if we rewind their history, Mac was also on the same stage as Eric, and he still needed to polish his editing skills. Me, someone with no money, would be moving in with someone with crippling debt and sleeping on their couch. So why would Mac say no when he is being given the perfect formula to establish his own YouTube career in the future? Nonetheless, during this journey he did not realize the level of bond he would develop with Eric. After deciding to upload one video every single week, Mac and Eric became best friends they never had. They were completely inseparable. And there was not a single moment when they didn't enjoy making crazy videos. It was like they were meant to experience this journey together and the whole world got to witness their friendship. All in one place together, <laughs> watching the number roll over. Ah! But then, more new people kept popping up in the team. After hitting 1 million subscribers, Eric realized that he needed to expand his team to accommodate bigger projects like Mr. Beast. And his objective was not to include more than 4 people in the team. And Mac most likely felt the need to move forward and try something new. So after all the thinking and spending unforgettable moments with Eric, 9 months ago, Mac uploaded something that no one imagined. I am going to attempt to start a YouTube channel. Not a normal YouTube channel. I want to bring something new to the table. And I want to make something new. Not conforming to any meta and actually tell stories that make people feel something. This was the first video that Mac uploaded on his channel. Although the video is only 2 minutes and 55 seconds long, it attracted more than 375,000 views and over 2,300 comments. This was finally the time when Mac deserved to have his own identity in the world. His own channel where he gets to decide who comes in and who goes out. He even dedicated this channel to his family members. However, what he was about to do in his second video was never done by any YouTuber in the world, including Mr. Beast. After uploading his second video, it has crossed more than 3.2 million views and counting. A breakthrough that was not even achieved by top creators like Mr. Beast, James Jenny, and Johnny Harris. This video was about surviving 100 hours controlled by artificial intelligence, in which Mac followed every word said by ChatGPT. By every word, I mean every word. For example, jumping off the cliff, yeah, bungee jumping, and even following weird answers from ChatGPT while dating a girl. Cats are skilled predators, and they're known for their hunting abilities, and uh, they're able to catch small prey, you know, with their, uh, with their claws. 
A perfect idea that not only connects with the majority of age groups, but also has all the ingredients of a viral video. Like tension, emotion, curiosity, and of course, Mac's extraordinary editing skills. In an interview, Mac clearly said, I just want to make videos that creatively fulfill me, and they might not perform as well as that AI video did. I'm just excited about the fact that one day my kids are going to watch these videos, and it's going to be really cool to show them what their dad was doing in his 20s, running around and making videos. It seems that Mac is going to make his kids prouder than he could have imagined, because after receiving a personal comment from Mr. Beast, he is now participating in his videos to attract a larger audience to his channel. Mr. Beast himself said, Mac is gonna be a goat one day, mark my words, and we don't doubt that anymore. If you look at Mr. Beast's recent video, Mac was again witnessed performing various challenges. But most importantly, this moment from this video clearly proves why he wants to appear on Mr. Beast's channel. I've been in one of these videos before, and I've lost everything. And the only reason I even am back here at all and got a second chance is actually because of you guys. This video has already crossed 91 million views and is guaranteed to grow. So you can imagine how many viewers would remember Mac's face whenever he uploads his next video on his channel. In fact, after watching this video, thousands of people would have already subscribed to his channel. However, we still don't have a clear answer as to why Mac left Eric. Did something serious happen between them? Or is Mac going to reappear on Eric's channel the way he appeared on Mr. Beast's recent video? Well, why not hear it from Mac himself? Recently, Tyler uploaded a video on his channel where he openly asked why Mac suddenly disappeared from Eric's channel. Oh, how it got so weird. Would you ever be in an Eric video again? Wow. At first, Mac tried to ignore the actual answer when Tyler asked why he had not appeared on Eric's channel for a long time. He responded by stating that he was busy with family stuff. What kind of family stuff? Just like, uh, you know, playing catch with my dad, you know. For a year? You played catch with your dad for a year. Yeah. It's a long time to play catch with someone. He's good. But then he gave a hint of why he left Eric. A lot of the YouTubers are making videos because they want to get what uh, they want to get to the rewards or the effect of the cause of making videos. Status, money. Yeah, status, money, and like I actually really do not give a shit about all that. The statement shows that there might have been some issue with the direction the channel was headed. Nonetheless, in the end he also said this when Tyler again asked whether he would appear on Eric's channel or not. Um, you know, only time can tell. This answer further makes this question more mysterious than before. It's most likely that Mac left Eric due to personal reasons and mainly needed time to focus on himself. As mentioned in Tyler's video, Mac has been going through some tough times. Actually, how are you? doing for real there's a lot of ups and downs i have been sad recently i got some stuff going on in my family you know i'm on that you know endless you know quest for love which can be sad and it feels like you know refreshing to like feel uh like you know intense emotion however all three of them are most likely still friends even though all three of us are still friends i still didn't know why mac wasn't popping in the videos as much so i just had to find out for sure All the way from the start, Mac's journey has been pretty spontaneous. From starting at the bottom with Eric to being one of the main stars of two Mr. Beast videos. With this being said, it is very probable that we will hear more about Mac in the future. Consider subscribing to this channel and I'll see you next time.